Before Vanessa Bryant would celebrate 18 years of marriage alongside superstar NBA legend Kobe Bryant, and together the two would father four daughters. Before Vanessa Bryant would clock in over 12 million followers on Instagram and become close friends with A-listers including J-Lo, Michelle Obama, Beyonce, and more. Before Vanessa Bryant tragically lost her husband and 13-year-old daughter in a fatal helicopter crash and would be joined as the world mourned for her tragic and unimaginable grief. First off, I need to start off by saying that our hearts and our prayers, they go out to Vanessa Bryant, her daughters, and all their loved ones during this difficult time. Now, Vanessa, she's been through more on her own than the entire cast of The Real Basketball Wives combined. Now, once upon a time, the two, well, they used to just get pounded by TMZ relentlessly. Now, her and Kobe, they literally grew up together, meeting when they were still kids themselves while on a music video shoot. And their young Vanessa, well, she certainly got herself G'd up. That was the name of the music video. Damn. Now you might have heard the story of how this pair met on a music video shoot, but you likely haven't heard the story of how she got the gig at just 17. Now if you're wondering more about the Latina who captured this pro athlete's heart, well we've got you covered. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's boy Michael McCrudden documenting the life and career of Vanessa Bryant prior to fame. Here for you of course on Before They Are Famous. Now recent drops on this channel have been in memoriam videos for the late Kobe and their daughter Gianna. Now we make these videos with a lot of heart and a lot of hard work, so please leave your well wishes in the comments down below. All right, now let's get into this video. Vanessa Bryant was born Vanessa Corneo Urbrieta Lane on May 5th, 1982 in Los Angeles, California. Now she is of half Irish and Mexican descent. She has an older sister named Sophie who is 10 years older than her. Now Vanessa's biological father, he hasn't been a part of her life since she was a young child. And eventually she would go on to adopt the last name of her stepfather, Stephen Lane, who her mom married in 1990. Now the two, they worked together at an electronics store. No money was tight and for the family, raising two young girls, well so were the rules. But for the most part, well they seemed to be a very happy blended family. We decided to scour the web and pull up all the throwback photos we could find from Vanessa's childhood. There's all sorts of photos of her here and there and there. When Vanessa was 11 years old, she saved her friend's little sister from drowning at the bottom of a deep end. Now she's also got a few other throwback photos on her Instagram, including this one where the caption read, This was my 8th grade graduation at St. Boniface Catholic School. Yes, I graduated with cords for being an honor student and commissioner of school spirit. Ha! Kobe calls me an undercover nerd. Lol. And there was also this one. Is this pom-pom enough? Magic Mountain cheer competition? I was about 95 pounds. Flyer, OMG. No while in her teens, Vanessa, she split her time between studying Algebra 2 at Marina High School in Huntington Beach. She also worked a retail job at Westminster Mall. Now when she would go out, she would have to call her parents on the hour, and there were no cell phones, at least she didn't have one. But what she did have was a pager. Now one weekend after leaving an all day rap festival in Irvine, California, well a man, he approached her holding a camcorder. Yeah, I know, that's never a good look. Well, it turns out he was scouting pretty girls to model in music videos. And Vanessa, well, she fit the mold. Vanessa, she recited her name and her number for the camera, and days later, she started booking some gigs. Now, this included a music video shoot for Crazy Bones, as well as the East Side Us, and that was in the music video G'd Up. So if you ever wondered if them rappers knew all the girls in their videos, well, now you know. It's some creep on the street with a camera. Anyway. Kobe, he just so happened to be at the studio the video was being filmed at, and he was working on his own later shelf debut rap album at the time. Well, the two, they crossed paths, they hit it off, and as the story goes, well, Vanessa, she was only 17 years old at the time. Regardless, Kobe, he was 21 years old, and he liked what he saw. He was also a total stud. He was the youngest all-star starter in NBA history, and he was finishing his third season in the NBA. Oh yeah, he had also just signed a six-year contract worth a whopping $71 million. Man had it all. But what he didn't have was a little lady to call his own. That don't mean there were no shortage of girls in his life. I mean, he did take Brandy to his prom, 
but I guess he liked what he saw in Vanessa because the two they quickly hit it off. The two they exchanged numbers, I'm guessing to their pagers, and they actually took a picture together. Now they do post these more recently to their Instagram, citing the first time they ever met, and Kobe, his caption it read, This pic is the day I asked Lady VB24 for her number on November 28, 1999. Through the ups and downs, she has been my love and best friend, 20 and 17 years old when we met. We have actually grown up together, a true honor and a blessing. TMO, Queen Mamba. Now you can imagine that their encounter became big news at high school and Vanessa, well she was said to have a poster of Kobe pinned up in her locker. So all the other studs at school, if they didn't know, well now they certainly did. Now soon enough Kobe, he began sending flowers to the school and then picking her up in his Mercedes. And from there, word of their courtship, well, it began spreading further than just within her high school hallways. Now, there would be a media frenzy outside of the school with cable news networks and even helicopters looking to get a photo of the young couple. Now, eventually, it reached such an extreme height that the school, they asked Vanessa to finish her senior year at home. She had to do some independent study. But who needs school? I mean, the girl had an NBA champ on lockdown as Kobe, he went on to win the 1999 to 2000 season. After six months of dating, the two were engaged in May of 2000. Now, according to Vanessa's family, there was no prenuptial agreement with Kobe citing that he loved her too much to have one. Now, the ceremony, it was a small one with few in attendance. It took place at St. Edward's the Confessor Catholic Church in Dana Point, California. And Kobe's own parents, well, they were opposed to the union, so they decided not to show up. Not having his parents' approval, one, because they were so young, and two, it said, because she wasn't African-American. Well, this resulted in an estrangement period for over two years from Kobe and his family. Now, this ended when the couple had their first daughter, who was born in 2003. Now, around this time, there would be a number of hiccups for the young couple. Now, there was Kobe's case, which I really don't want to get into in this video. Now, there was also Vanessa's parents, her mom and her stepdad, well, they got divorced. It turns out that all the men in her world, well, they all decided to start cheating at the exact same time. Now, their oldest daughter, Natalie DeMonte Bryant, she was born on January 19, 2003. Three years later, Gianna Marie Bryant, she was born on May 1st, 2006. Now, after the first two children were born, well, Vanessa and Kobe, they hit another rough patch in their marriage. This was in 2011 when she filed for divorce. But thankfully the pair, well, they were able to work it out. By 2013, the pair had called off the divorce and they actually released a statement via Instagram where Vanessa said, we are pleased to announce that we have reconciled. Our divorce action will be dismissed. We are looking forward to our future together. In 2016, Kobe and Vanessa, they welcomed Bianca Bella Bryant. Then in 2019, well, Vanessa, she gave birth to their fourth daughter, who they named Capri Kobe Bryant. Now, the basketball legend, he regularly posted photos of his wife and his daughters to social media accounts. And by all means, well, the guy was a gushing husband and father. Now, the NBA star, he would even shoot down claims that he ever wanted any sons of his own. You know, having a boy, I think my, my wife wants a boy more so than I do. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but I, I, I love my girls. I, you know, she keeps saying, stop speaking it into existence. Which is hard to believe but true. The last photo posted by Kobe to his Instagram was of his entire family together and this was a collage of their Christmas events and he posted on December 25th, 2019. Now, of course, we all know what happened next. Now, this has to be an unimaginably hard time for Vanessa and their three daughters and really anyone close to the family. Now, our best wishes go to them from us here at Before They Are Famous. Please leave your messages of condolences in the comments down below. Be positive elsewhere online. And as for the rest of the story, well, you know it or you can find it elsewhere because this is Before They Are Famous. Now, if you like this video, we have made other videos in memoriam for Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant. So if you like that, well, if you want to know more, you can check those out and I'll see you guys in another video. Okay, bye. Boom.